So I really enjoy when new sneaker models release and you know not just the fashionable sneaker models that Nike produces but I really enjoy when new athletic sneakers release you know running shoes training shoes that sort of thing and the main reason I enjoy when these sneakers release is because when they tweak the shoe just a little bit between year to year a lot of the times it becomes so much better I mean there have been a few times where it's become a little worse but usually the companies learn from consumerism you know people say hey I like this about it I want this this is what could be better they take that into consideration and they go ahead and produce the next year's model um, and a week ago you know what for this sneaker model I, I did a review last week and that that was of the UA hover sonic 5 but when I went online and saw that the UA hover sonic 6 came out I said you know what I've only worn these a little bit on the treadmill at the gym Let's return these because I already have a ton of other running shoes and let's pick up the six and see how it is. So with no further ado, let's get into the sneaker you clicked on this video for. So first of all, you know Under Armour comes with that simple Under Armour box. We have Under Armour right on the side here. Under Armour on the lid. All around. Simple Under Armour hit on the back and then the bottom is where you have all that manufacturing goodness. You know, where it's made, maybe some of the qualities, the address of the comfort company, boxing made out of 70% recycled content, good for them, designed and engineered, yada, yada, yada. You know what, if you want to see more of that, screenshot it, go back, screenshot it, and you have all that. Other than that, let's get into the shoe. So obviously when you open the shoe, it comes with that nice paper. You know, well, not nice, but every shoe box, every shoe you ever buy usually comes with shoe paper. And you know what? It gives that shoe a unique, fresh feeling when you open the box and you see no one else has ever touched it. This shoe um, I ended up getting from UnderArmor.ca because it's brand new, obviously. I didn't want to drive downtown to the Under Armour brand house to get it. I like when you order and it's over a certain amount, you get that free shipping. So, hey, right now it's negative 20, 30 out in Canada, in the greater Toronto area. I don't really want to step out. I'd rather have the postman. Deliver it to my house. But anyways, I'm talking way too much. Let's get into the shoe. So first at it, let's just have a nice quick look. Okay. Wow. So I went in the black camel colorway. If you haven't already seen, let's, let's go to a quick front view of the box. Sorry, I jumped to the shoe. I'm too excited. So let's have a look at the front of the box. So sizing, 10 and a half. Name of the shoe, UA Hover Sonic 6 Camo Edition. I went for the camo because I'm not a huge fan of these super colorful running shoes. I like pretty much monotone things, so, you know, black. And obviously don't go white because it's going to get stained and dirty in the way I run. But yeah, that's it. Back into the shoe. Camo edition. Alright, so first off, we have a hit of Under Armour here on that back plate. Nice and protective for the heel, you know, the heel cup there. Nice and solid, so I don't think the back is going to be mushing down. I like that. I like the heel to be supportive and more loose towards the front of the foot. You can see the technology right here. It is the HOVR, the hover technology. And that is what gives its responsiveness when you do heel-to-toe action, you step back. It kind of helps you move forward. Also takes a lot of the shock and absorption when you run. Now the midsole has this little, I don't know, honeycomb pattern on the inside there. Just for you know aesthetic purposes and it moves all the way to the front now the front you have a nice hit of under armor on the top and then you can follow it down by the tread decent tread not enough for a trail shoe but you know a little bit of that a little bit of running maybe gravel something like that but just not really off-road i have a lot of other shoe rides i reviewed for off-road type stuff and that is my favorite type of running but you know sometimes you just need to run on a treadmill or a track or Something that's not as intensive. Anyway, so let's go to the inside of the shoe. The mid inside of this part, you know. Get enough of that. And then the top of the shoe. Pretty simple. The material is that nice kind of like, you know, fabric woven. Nothing special really. Nothing to write home about, but still quality. And then let's see if I can get it. A little hard to see right there. But it says, there we go, it says hover right there on the tongue with some like heat print material. I remember before um, a person commented and told me what that heat print material is. Shout out to you, but I already forgot when I got to this, this video. 
Insole just has all the information. Hover Sonic. You're not gonna see that. I'm gonna be wearing it on my foot. And one more time, let's do a nice product showcase. 360 for you. As I'm doing the 360, I saw one other detail on this little bit of material here. It runs and it says Sonic 6. So I kind of like that. It's, you know, they, they broke it up a bit. They added a little decoration here. Now, I don't know if this helps with any support in the structure of the shoe. It doesn't really feel so. So I don't know. What do you guys think? You comment below. And you know what? This back heel cup is kind of cool. It's actually translucent. You can see through it, and the patterning is behind it. So that's that's one little cool detail they've added to this. So you got to kind of look more into the shoe to see the small details that they add. Anyways, let's go through all these on feet and see how they look. And let's have a quick look at these Hover Sonics. Feel really nice. Now compared to something like the Phantom, the mid of the foot, this area here is a little more narrow. But it gives it a little more of a lighter, mobile kind of feeling. Unlike, you know, the Phantom is more of a long distance runner. This is a mix between a long distance and, you know, a short distance runner. A sprinter and a marathoner. Has that hover technology in the back. It gives a lot of impact resistance. Yeah, it's a decent pair of runners. What do you guys think? Definitely have to break these out on a treadmill, go for a run. Oh. Hope you enjoyed the on foot of this shoe. Um, let's get a little bit more into the details. Like I said, I went 10 and a half because 10 and a half is my true to size for most things. Under Armour and Adidas. Um, some shoes like Nike, I do do 10 and a half, but some of it like uh, Jordans and stuff, I usually go up to an 11. So it all depends on you, but I could recommend go your true to size for most of the shoes that you wear. Now, as it comes for the price, uh, I got a little bit of a discount on this, but the original retail price in Canada, that's where I live, is about 130 Canadian dollars plus tax. So it's not the most expensive, but it's also not the budget friendly versions. And usually stuff that has the Hover logo isn't really the budget friendly, but it definitely has quality. So yeah, that is the shoe for you today. Um, I did this review as a request of a subscriber, so hey, this one's for you. Hope you guys liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Tons more videos to come. Till next time. Take it easy.